go by the hotel key. They will bring the condom. And then when you don't go and come, the first thing they're going to do, they're going to tweet and say you're a fag or you're a punk. Because you won't sleep with it. This is the world that we're living in. But God is calling for some holy people. No holy people got no business doing sinful things. This is God's nature. This is God's character. Outside of holiness, there is not God. Why did he tell us to be holy? Because he told us to be. You know, that's the problem some of y'all got with y'all kids. Y'all tell y'all kids to do something, and they won't do it, and you reward them anyway. Amen, camera. If your kids disobey you, you shouldn't reward them, you should whoop them. Yeah, I know some of y'all still in, 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 in this... Uh, Politically correct stuff. Time it out, man. I ain't. Time, time out is out. Take out is in. <laughs> that's why yeah, that's why the police beating y'all kids upside the head, because you wouldn't do it. That's right. I ain't that's telling you right. beat them upside the head, but you should have took them out. That's when they disobeyed them, you should have let them know that you can't disobey mama, you can't disobey dad. That's why all our brothers in prison, they won't listen to their mom and their dad. That's why we got so much chaos and so many single mothers. Having babies with no husband. Yeah, I see. There is no glory in having babies without a husband. I'm going to say that. There is no glory in having kids without a husband. Saints, whether y'all know it or not, the devil is, is trying to get any little inch he can to stop you from living holy. He's trying to get any inch he can to stop you from thinking holy. See, it's holy thinking to tell a sister that you had a baby outside of wedlock is wrong, is nasty, is messed up. I'm not going to condemn the kid, but you need to understand what you did was wrong. But we've told us. We have baby showers. Oh, we, 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 we. Man, that's tough. Y'all may think of it, but that's crazy to me. So what you gonna do when a married couple have a kid? You done glorified the sin, but now they did it right like the Bible said. What you gonna do now? I know what's gonna be quiet. I don't care. <laughs> The temple. See, y'all don't want to hear this straight talk stuff. There was a time when you didn't have unwanted pregnancies in the church. You would hear, hear them every now and then. But everywhere you look now, people having babies. Ain't got a lick of husband. And you want me to glorify. Don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to keep up a holy standard. That's all I'm trying to do. Now, don't get me wrong now. I'm not going to down that baby because that baby needs some help. I'm not going to really down the mother to a certain extent. Now, I would go out and buy them some clothes, but it would not be at a baby shower. A baby shower is for a married woman. Amen, 1249.45. I know y'all don't like it straight, but I'm going to tell it straight. Maybe this will help that little girl that's thinking about having a baby. She'll change her mind now. So we can stop glorifying having babies outside of marriage. It was fornication. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. It was wrong. Don't glorify wrong. Don't expect me to glorify wrong. Lord, how I get there? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to be honest with you. When you start talking about holiness, you go everywhere. Because you got to hit until the devil get mad. I don't know. See, it's time out for these seven steps. See, y'all been to glory long enough. 
Amen. Don't, I, I love glory. I love giving.